the topic for today's video is uh, solving the quadrantal triangles uh, in the spherical trigonometry so if you don't know what quadrantal triangles are they are spherical triangles which contain a 90 degree side uh, not a 90 degree angle but a side which value is 90 degree uh, they are solved using the Napier's rules and they have only one exception from right angled spherical triangles where an angle is 90 degrees so when you're solving uh, quadrantal triangles using Napier's rules if the adjacent or opposite parts are both angles uh, so if you form an equation where on your right hand side you have both the angles or both sides then uh, you will introduce an extra minus sign or a negative sign i'll show you in the example below all right so let's start solving a quadrantal triangle where a side is 90 degrees so let's take an example now in this example uh, spherical triangle a b c side c is 90 degrees b angle b is 14 degrees 20 minutes and side a is 1110 degrees 11 minutes you have to find angle c and side b now if you're wondering why i have written side c as uh, here because uh, otherwise it gets confusing between what is a small c and what is a capital c so that's why whenever i write a small c i just put a stroke across it just to distinguish it from a angle c otherwise if you if you look at it then an angle c and a side c looks the same so here you go so this is how the triangle should look like so you've got the side a as 1 1 10 degrees 11 minutes uh, side c as 90 degrees so this is the right angle triangle and uh, angle b in this triangle is 14 degrees and 20 minutes right so this will uh, we will take this uh, into a napier's diagram and we'll uh, solve the angle c and side b so we have to find angle c this one here and side b here all right so let's start with it so you draw a circle as i have here as you do in napier's diagram or napier's rules rather and uh, it's uh, similar to a circle that you draw in napier's rules you draw a circle divide it into two semicircles the top semicircle is divided into two parts and the bottom semicircle in three parts so you start with writing the 90 degree side here so what whenever whatever is 90 degrees you write it outside the circle if it's angle you write it the angle or if it's a side you will write the side outside the circle then side c here is 90 degrees then the top semicircle you will write the angles which are next to the side c so the angles which are next to the side c is angle a and angle b so i have written angle a and angle b here and you can write it in any order you can write b or a or you can write a and b it doesn't matter now once you write that then opposite to a you will write 90 minus the side opposite to a which is 90 minus small a and then opposite to b you will write the side opposite to b or angle b which is the side b so 90 minus b so in the bottom semicircle you will always add a prefix of 90 minus whether it's the side or angle and then in the middle part of the bottom semicircle you will write the remaining angle which is 90 minus capital c which is the angle all right so you write down the side 90 degrees first outside the semicircle then write the angles which are next to the side which is angle a and b and then opposite a write 90 minus the side opposite angle a which is side a and 90 minus side opposite to angle b which is b and then 90 minus the remaining angle which is 90 minus c now once you have drawn the semi drawn the circle uh, then you can start ticking off what you have and what you don't have so what you have is side a and what you have is uh, angle b you have these two and what you have to find is side b which is this and angle c which is this right uh, you will always use the ones that values given to you in the question to find the values you don't have so even if you determine a value try not to use it to solve the equation because you may have made an error and then you carry that error so it's better to always use the values which are given to you to find out the values which you don't so i will use uh, the values which are given to me first to find the side b to first find side b here so what i will use is i will use the uh, the mushroom i will form a mushroom so to use the ones that i have to find that i don't have to to get these three values in the equation i will write the equation as sine 90 minus b equals cos of the opposites so cos of angle b and cos 90 minus side a now since here one is an angle and one is a side on the right hand side of the equation i will not use an extra negative sign to solve the equation 
all right if both of them were angles on the right hand side i would have used a negative sign as i would in the next equation so sin 90 minus b here will be equal to cos of b and cos 90 minus a sin 90 minus b is also can be written as cos of b and cos 90 minus a can be written as sin of a all right so this becomes the equation then then cos b equals cos of angle b and sin of a you put in the values as you have in the equation or in the question given to you and then find out those values i have stuck to five decimal places you can go more if you want the more the number of decimal places the more is the accuracy uh, you can go up to any value that you want uh, multiply these two values follow the values that i have given in the answer make sure your values are the same and then of course cos will go on to the other side become cos inverse of the value and you can find out the value of b as 24 degrees 34.9 or some of you may get 34.8 depends on the number of decimal places that you have used all right then we find angle c to find angle c i come back to the equation here to the circle here all right so you have to use the ones that you know to find out the ones that you don't know all right so this is the this an equation should involve these three here so an equation should involve these three here so then of course uh, this is of no use so if i have to involve all these three in the equation uh, my equation will be sine of 90 minus a which will be the middle part equals tan of the adjacents which is tan of angle b and tan 90 minus c so that's what i have done i have found out so tan of adjacent now because these are both angles angle b is an angle angle c is an angle both of them are angles uh, i will introduce a negative sign or extra negative sign in the equation on the right hand side so my equation above will become sine of 90 minus a which is the middle part equals tan of b multiplied by tan of 90 minus c both are angles and an extra negative sign minus one all right i can also write sine 90 minus a as cos of a which is equal to minus of tan b because my minus i can just use it here so it will become minus tan b multiplied by tan 90 minus c or tan 90 minus c which is my unknown here will be equal to this goes here it becomes division so cos of a divided by minus tan b or tan 90 minus c will be equal to put in the values of cos a here and b here keep the negative sign once you put the values and you find the values from the uh, calculator you will see that cos 110 degrees 11 minutes equals negative 0 0.34502 and tan 14 degrees 20 minutes equals 0 0.25552 but because you had a negative sign you will introduce the negative sign as well so that becomes a negative value so if both of them are negative values you cancel out each both of them they become positive so in this case you become tan 90 minus c equals 1.35027 because you will divide the two values so make sure you follow the prompts take tan onto the other side here and then you get tan inverse find out the tan inverse value then 90 minus c will be equal to 53 degrees 28.6 keep your unknown to one side take your unknown to the other so you can bring c here which will become positive and 53 here so 90 minus 53 degrees 28.6 will give you the value of angle CS 36 degrees 31.4 minutes. So this is how you solve a quadrantal triangle. Now uh, quadrantal triangle is a spherical triangle where a side is 90 degrees. So if you are ever solving spherical triangles for a grid circle or for composite grid circle, then um, if you ever face a situation where a side is 90 degrees, make sure you use the quadrantal triangle method where the only exception is if both are sides or both are angles on the right hand side of the equation, you will introduce an extra negative sign. Alright guys, I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.